Before we start this video off, I want to tell y'all that my digital coaching program is having a free trial for the next 14 days, and it comes with custom meal plans and workouts for any of your body types. So be sure to check that out, completely free for the next 14 days. And for my $5 patron shoutouts for the month of January, Charles Dooley, Detra Morgan, Habikid, Hunter Birch, Isaac Herrera, John Paul Meyer, Julian Taveras, Kimberly Calderon, Robin Nunez, Samuel, Shri, Tack, Chance the Trapper, Illegally Sane, and Chris B. Thank you all for your added support. All of you are super, just saying. Yo, do you do that? Your friendly neighborhood Jack Splate is back with another episode. Would that work out? The series where I use my knowledge of personal training and exercise science to analyze whether a fictional character's routine would actually work if you attempted it in real life. And today we are covering Asta from Black Clover, because my boy just is getting all sorts of gains recently, especially, especially recently, so I gotta talk about him. This motherfucker look like he just came out the hyperbolic time chamber. And since this one has been one of my most highly requested the last few months, I figured, you know, let's break down and analyze all the training we've seen Asta do. Also, for people who want to try out a routine to get you results similar to Asta from Black Clover, be sure to check out my Tough Like the Tunes video for it after this video. So in a world of people born with magical abilities, our boy Asta was sadly one of the rare few born without any special talents. Sound familiar? I'm afraid I'm at the shallow end of the gene pool. But he didn't let that get him down and decided, if I can't use magic like the rest, I'll just get Brolic AF. And so he began an intense training regimen at a young age to strengthen his body so that he could become the Wizard King. Yeah, I know, let's move on. Now for years, Asta's family was very poor and he had no equipment to train with. And so he began doing what we've covered many, 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 many times on this channel before, good old calisthenics slash bodyweight training. I'm telling y'all, I call them anime god makers for a reason. Literally all these characters do a bunch of push-ups and they are goats in their field, all right? There's something on to that. From standard push-ups to endless sit-ups to handstands, our boy Asta grinded like no tomorrow, unsure if he'd even get magical abilities. He still had the willpower to keep on pushing through and get those gains. And this is something I honestly gotta say, I respect Asta a bit more than Deku for. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love both Asta and Deku as characters, but here's the thing. Asta didn't know if he was gonna get, you know, any magical ability for his entire life, but he still trained regardless. Like, he had no idea if he was gonna get, like, a, you know, a book. He expected it, but he didn't know if he was gonna get it because he had no magical power and stuff like that. But, like, he kept training his ass off for years. If he didn't have magic, he would just use his power. But, um, with Deku, for years, all right, so he had, like, 14 years before he met All Might, and he didn't, like, do any training. Now, Ken, I completely respect the fact that he, like, had his notebook and he mastered stuff like heroes do. And the fact that um he was, like, so intelligent and stuff like that. I really do admire that because I always say, like, intelligence is a like, key, key thing to being, like, just a strong individual overall. But it is sort of like, okay, so you didn't do any physical training or sign up for any martial arts at all. Like, even when he was, like, before All Might even, you know, trained him and before he even, like, thought about giving powers, there's met moment where he's like, um, uh, I, I can be a great hero, I just gotta keep believing in myself and move forward, and it's like, but you didn't try any, like, strength training or resistance work or martial arts before that or boxing, you know, you know, stuff like that, like, I just, I think, I respect the fact that Asta was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, so I'm just gonna, you know, train my ass off and, you know, get all chad stuff, and then, like, Deku was like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but at least I can work on my brain, and working on your brain is very, very important, and I'm so glad that they, you know, show that in the show, but uh, I feel like it would have been better if he had some training prior, like he was like years, he was just like, I'm just gonna, you know, do my best and try to train, but you know, again, uh, I love Deku now, I love his character, and I always, I see myself in Deku as like that poor bully kid who like got stronger, so I, I did like that, but I do like the fact that Asta was just like, everyone's crapping on me, everyone's talking down to me, but I'm just gonna still get after it, all right? I'm gonna work my ass off and get after it. So that is just something I absolutely respect. Now I've discussed in depth on this channel many times before the benefits of doing calisthenics, so we'll cover them briefly. If you want a more in-depth explanation, be sure to check out any of my other Would That Workout videos. I'm pretty sure I've talked about at least one of your other favorite characters, but Asta cranking out push-ups, pull-ups, squats, handstands, and running every day would do phenomenal work for his muscular and cardiovascular endurance, which makes a ton of sense since he has a ton of energies from just up the yin-yang. And of course, it would help the boy shred up since he's burning body fat and gaining lean muscle mass at an exceptional rate thanks to, you already know, Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Good! In you go! 
Again, if you want to hear more about newbie gains, be sure to check out my Would That Work Out, specifically the one on Deku, because I'll go super in-depth there as well. But because of all the stabilizing it takes to do certain calisthenic moves, like Asta cranking out one-handed handstand push-ups is just absolute beast mode, like, his body would be even more ripped thanks to calisthenics hitting those little stabilizing muscles, which make you look even more ripped at a lower body fat, like when you see Olympic gymnasts doing their thing. So all of this checks out on why his body looks like, you know, this right now and even though the rep ranges are a bit you know ridiculous because they always do that in anime like oh we got to do like tens of thousands of reps or something like that but all of it would be plausible to get you this but like what about now when he's got this like freaking tree trunk neck all right so all i've been talking about is how asta trained during those years he was growing up but now let's look at how hosta's training evolved once he attained his demonic grimoire and how he unlocked this cloud bust a level beast of a weapon the demon slayer ooh, ooh, you're so good. i covered y'all twice stop being greedy so once Asta got this massive sword, he implemented it into his training by doing thousands of slashes with it each day. So now it's time for some hypothetical gauges of how much it weighs because that thing sure as hell ain't light. So let's see about this, all right, let's look at the size. And uh, you know, comparatively, uh, let's look at like, you know, Cloud Sword from Final Fantasy VII. And uh, honestly, Cloud Sword is about 80 pounds in real life according to Man at Arms. I'm a pretty strong guy, but just carrying the Buster Sword out of my workshop pretty much wrecked my back and arm. The thing probably weighed 75 to 80 pounds. And Guts' true sword, which I can't wait when we get to a wood that work out on him, is uh, honestly about 220 to 400 something pounds in real life. So the man at arms one is comparatively lighter com to the actual beast that Guts was carrying with that dragon slayer. And Bonryu from Inuyasha that Bonkotsu had, like, you know, I don't think we ever really found out, but it said like three grown men had to carry it in when he could only hold it with one hand. But uh, you know what? If I was to guesstimate, I'd say the Demon Slayer is between 80 to 100 pounds uh, or something like that. It sounds fair, right? That does sound fair. Or like probably a bit less, like 70. And again, I don't know this 100% and I'll be upfront about that. So this is all guesstimation because like, I don't know, maybe in a manga chapter, I miss something in the manga where they say like, oh, his sword has a demon slayer sword weighs approximately this. So that's why he was able to strike the, the amount of strength that takes to do, you know, like stuff like that. Like I'm just doing a guesstimation here and um, that's all I can do. And I would just say at like 70 pounds or something like that but anyways like we mentioned before swinging a massive sword like that works a myriad of muscles from the abdominal core your shoulders your traps your back your forearms your wrists and your calves and just look at this before and after picture of asta you see those muscles in particular have grown on our boy which makes sense because swinging that beast would lead to muscular hypertrophy from progressively overloading the muscles with that added resistance like he has done so that in addition to his you know calisthenic training plus all the meals charmy feeds him plus all the you know bed rest he gets would cause him to hit all the main components of the three leg stool of fitness again if you don't know what that is just watch this playlist right here boom your boy got Jax has got you and it actually makes a tremendous amount of sense on why he was able to achieve what he has now. Asta had a goal to be better, even when everyone was putting him down, and he never gave up on himself, and he worked his ass off to get where he needed to be. And I know some people like to hate on Asta because Black Clover anime has his ups and downs and it's annoying when he's like yelling all the time, but it's actually really inspiring and motivating and I love the flip side of it that instead of you know the typical pretty boy getting all the girls attention, Asta keeps getting various girls to crush on him just from being so passionate about what he is trying to accomplish. He's gorgeous. Also, I just love the dynamic between Yuno and Asta. They are rivals on friendly terms, so watching Black Clover is honestly like if Neji and Rock Lee got their own series or also a bit of you know Gimli and Legolas from Lord of the Rings like teaming up like that's the vibe I get from these two but all in all would Asta from Black Clover's training actually work if attempted in real life the answer again is just you know on a toned down scale you most definitely could see results following a program like this probably not at the volume Asta does because it does you know they do that thing in anime where they just do insane reps to make it like look super impressive and a lot of people if they tried to emulate that in real life could get overuse injuries for like tendonitis which is no good but a program that could help you you know for those who actually want to try it is my tough like the tunes form so try that out when you get the chance and also you know just if you made it into 
into a realistic set of just like, oh, I can do this, like, um, tone the volume down a bit and then, like, make it more manageable and more realistic, then this could be a very intense but uh, progressive workout for anyone to do. Like, it's just a thing. You would get, like, so much gains properly if you did everything just on point. So this gets a thumbs up from me. Well, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something. Be sure to hit that like button and that comment button down below and also subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading a lot more consistently this new year. I got a ton of videos planned. I have them all in a little file. I'm just super excited to get them all done and out to y'all. But let me know, like, what do you think of Boss's routine? Do you like him swole? Do you want him to get, like, super yummy size or do you think he's, like, fine the way he is, all right? And then, like, who do you think is more inspirational as well? Like, Deku or Asta? So, like, you know, put, like, oh, I, I Deku, Asta, or Asta, Deku. Like, like depending on which one you do and then like you know go in depth of why you think that because I'm generally curious I love these little interactions we have with each other where I can like see and get like different ideas because you know I'm just super curious about that uh, but anyways I hope you all have a phenomenal day uh, I want to let you all know that my digital coaching program like I said at the start of this video again free trial for the next 14 days you can try it out you know completely like cancel whenever you want you get meal plans and workouts whenever you need uh, I have a few programs if some people have issues starting things like for instance I have this program called the hero's will which is all about helping you develop that will like Asta when he knew he wasn't gonna get any you know power but he still kept working his ass off at it this is how to help you develop that for yourself so this is you know just great for this new year so check it out a hero's will link below also other programs and uh, you know I also have t-shirts now again on my little merch store teespring down in the description box below if you guys want to check that out anything there helps me out too and uh, you know thank you for watching I really hope you enjoy this and I like hope you had a, you know, ha or having a great start to your new year that's been productive and you're just being able to be a better you possible, like, you know, these characters we follow. And uh, I got so many stuff planned and I'm just super, super excited and I hope you enjoy it. <sighs> but remember, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, don't forget, moment tie. Now, hope you have a great one and train hard like Asta. Booyah. <laughs>